Hello friends, today we will see the journey of food, how food comes to our plate. Farmers plant the seeds in the field. The farmers water the growing plants regularly and spray them with pesticides. Finally, when the crop is ripe, it is harvested. Farmers use machines on their farms to do harvesting. After harvesting, the crops are stored either in mud bean or in steel box or it is stored in sacks. Sacks are loaded on a truck for selling in the nearest wholesale market. Wholesalers sell the crop to retailers and retailers sell them in their shops. We buy them from the shopkeepers and then we cook our food. Now you know the long journey of food, how it travels from farm to our plate. Long meals grind the grain into different parts like lo like loaf or bread and and in our wheat and we get this kind of material in our hand. Then chefs and bakers use this wheat in making many types of dishes like like making rotis and to eat in with our vegetable. Let's learn how we can contribute in practicing organic farming. This kind of composting is known as trench composting or pit composting. One of the advantages of this method is that the composting materials stay cool and damp in summer and warmer in the winter, thus helping the decomposition process. Simply dig a hole 12 to 14 inches deep and bury your leftovers. Try to do this in layers of green and then brown materials. Once buried, anaerobic bacteria start the decomposition and worm will also help to digest the food waste. When everything has decomposed, you can either dig it up and use it in your yard or plant something directly on the top of your pit.